In Marvel Universe, the Infinity Saga is the quintessential space opera from the 90s, written by Jim Starlin and drawn by Ron Lim. Uh, for those who are not aware uh, who Jim Starlin really is, he is the creator or the co-creator of Thanos, Drax, Gamora, and Shang-Chi. Starlin is recognized for revamping Marvel space characters, namely Captain Marvel, here we're talking about Marvel, and Adam Warlock. He is part of Marvel's Writers Club from the 70s who came up with characters that defied the norms established in the golden age of comics. Yet his most notable achievement happens to be the Infinity Saga miniseries from the 90s, amassing a bigger uh, lineup of heroes than Secret Wars. The Infinity Saga or Infinity Trilogy takes a lot of inferences from philosophical, historical, metaphysical, and theological aspects, such as uh, Al-Farabi's uh, Philosopher King. This is when Adam Warlock releases uh, good and evil from his soul in order to rule with infinity gauntlet through rationalism. Jesus Christ and his challenge to the temple establishment. Uh, here, uh, uh, what I am referring to is uh, that Adam Warlock in uh, Infinity Trilogy is positioned as a messianic figure uh, of Marvel's cosmos and mostly uh, he is found to be in dispute with the Church of Truth. Uh, the philosophy of moral dualism, uh, this is in reference to Goddess and Magus. Goddess is represented by uh, uh, Adam Warlock's good side and Magus represents the evil side or the dark side. And last but certainly not least, Thanos' fascination with nihilism and death. I hope I pronounced it correctly. The saga uh, is quite uh, uh, deep and might not be appreciated by those who find such concepts difficult to comprehend. Nevertheless, to the credit of Jim Starlin, his take on Marvel's Cosmos is one of the main reasons why it enjoys a cult following and it is one of his miniseries which is known as Infinity War with Adam Warlock as its central character. However, D23 Expo uh, this year has revealed that Thanos and his Black Order, also known as Cull Obsidian, will be the main antagonist of the movie, which makes it certain that the movie Infinity War will be loosely based on Jonathan Hickman, Jim Chiang, Jerome Opena, and Dustin Weaver's Infinity 2013 crossover. Thankfully, the cast of characters is nearly the same, uh, as the comic book storyline involves Avengers, Inhumans, Illuminati, and Guardians of the Galaxy. Now we know that Inhumans are currently part of Marvel's uh, TV series roster and uh, out of uh, five to six members of uh, the Illuminati, three of them, namely Iron Man, Doctor Strange and Black Panther are part of MCU. Making a movie with such a huge cast of characters is a huge challenge in itself. And the way comic book readers have been disappointed by adaptations of successful storylines such as Civil War in Captain America 3, uh, Age of Ultron in Avengers 2, and Extremis uh, in Iron Man 3, it has only alienated diehard fans of Marvel Comics who appreciate a real, mature, relatable portrayal of their favorite superheroes and villains too. For example, Fox's blunder with Apocalypse remains a painful, painful memory. Because a movie is only as good as its villains, it remains to be seen if Thanos and his Black Order will establish themselves much like Darth Vader and his Grand Army of the Republic. Quite a high level of expectation, but nevertheless, the opportunity is there for MCU to capitalize. I would like to end uh, this uh, video with a reading advice. Infinity 2013 is not as landmark of an event as Jim Starlin's Infinity Saga from the early 90s. The story quality is incomparable between the two crossovers and ever since Axel Alonso uh, has been at the helm, there is a repetition strategy being employed, i.e. 
secret wars 1984 and then we have secret wars 2015 civil war and now we have civil war 2 similar to these two examples infinity 2013 was also a repetition of sorts of starlin's infinity saga the stories differ in terms of characters involved and their costumes and the artwork but the fundamental premise of a successful story is used in a gimmicky fashion for the sake of short term sales uh read infinity 2013 uh, crossover for the sake of the movie but for your reading pleasure you're better off with starlin and limbs infinity trilogy namely infinity gauntlet infinity war and infinity crusade